quadratic formula. Notice this is a trinomial. In order to do um, quadratic formula, you have to have them set equal to what? Zero. Zero. So I need to move my 15 over. So I have 4x squared uh, plus 7x minus 15 equals zero. Keep in mind that for quadratic formula, you also need to have it in standard form, uh, meaning that your um, highest exponent, then the x, and then the constant is next, right? You will always tell me on your homework what your a, b, and c are. What's my a in this problem? Four. Four. What's my B? Seven. And my C seven. is? Negative 15. Very good. My formula is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So when I plug in, I have negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 15 all over 2 times 4. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to type all of this in on your calculator exactly as you see it written. So, this is going to give you what? Negative 7 plus or minus the square root of what? 4. Open parentheses, 7 close squared minus 4. Open parentheses, 4 close. Open negative 15 close. Hold up. Wait, hold on. That's a lot. So, you have to, it's not just what's 17. under it. What'd you get? 17. 289. 289? Mm-hmm. Okay. Divided by 8, and then the square root of 289 is 17. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have negative 7 plus or minus 17 divided by 8. So that gives me two answers here. Negative 7 plus 17 <laughs> divided by 8, and negative 7 minus 17 divided by 8. Negative 7 plus 17 is what? 10? Is that right? 10 divided by 8 reduces to what? 5 over 4? Yes? Yeah. Negative 7 minus 17 is negative 24, right? Mm -hmm. Divided by 8 gives me what? Negative 6? Oh, 6. 6. No. No. 3. 4. 4. 3. Yeah, that's right. 3. 3? Three. Three? Trace. Man. Why did I get negative there? trace. Okay. The next one. Again, solve for... Uh, set it equal to zero. I'm going to keep this six here because it's uh, A and it's positive. So I'm just going to move this 3x over. Okay? So my problem now reads zero equals 6x squared minus 3x. So tell me, what is my A? A is 6. My B is negative 3. And what about my C? Do I have one? It's actually zero. So I plug in negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yes? yes? All right, so we have negative times negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times 6 times 0 all over 2 times 6. Now, uh, this will give me positive 3 plus or minus the square root of this is 9 squared minus 0, so it's just going to be 9 divided by 12. That would give me 3 plus or minus 3 divided by 12, yes? So then, when I separate it, 3 plus 3 divided by 12 and 3 minus 3 divided by 12. So 3 plus 3 is 6. 6, six divided by 12 is 1 half. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 divided by 12 is 0. Are we good? Last problem. x squared plus 3x equals 2. What do I need to do first? Uh-huh. Subtract 2. Subtract 2. We have x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. My a is what? x squared. 1. b is 3. c is negative 2. Remember their coefficients, right? Again, I have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that gives me what? Negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 2 all over 2 times 1. Now, when you plug all that in, that's going to give me negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus um, or plus 8, which gives me what? 
17? Yes. Is 17 a perfect square? Can I even factor 17? It's prime, isn't it? Yeah. If you get to something like this, then guess what? That is your answer.